The Medes, Old Persian Mada, Ancient Greek, Medoi Hebrew, Made Madai, were an ancient Iranian people who lived in an area known as Media northwestern Iran and who spoke the Median language. At around 1100 to 1000 BC, they inhabited the mountainous area of northwestern Iran and the northeastern and eastern region of Mesopotamia and located in the Hamadan Igbatana region. Their emergence in Iran is thought to have occurred between 800 BC and 700 BC, and in the 7th century the whole of western Iran and some other territories were under Median rule. Its precise geographical extent remains unknown. A few archaeological sites discovered in the Median Triangle in western Iran and textual sources from contemporary Assyrians and also ancient Greeks in later centuries provide a brief documentation of the history and culture of the Median state. Apart from a few personal names, the language of the Medes is unknown. The Medes had an ancient Iranian religion a form of pre-Zoroastrian Mazdaism or Mithra worshipping with a priesthood named as Magi. Later during the reigns of the last Median kings, the reforms of Zoroaster spread into western Iran. <laughs> <laughs> Cities and tribes of Media Besides Igbatana modern Hamadan, the other cities existing in Media were Laodicea modern Nahavan, and the mound that was the largest city of the Medes, Rages present-day Ray. The fourth city of Media was Apamea, near Igbatana, whose precise location is now unknown. In later periods, Medes and especially Mede soldiers are identified and portrayed prominently in ancient archaeological sites such as Persepolis, where they are shown to have a major role and presence in the military of the Achaemenid Empire. According to the histories of Herodotus, there were six Median tribes, thus Deioces collected the Medes into a nation, and ruled over them alone. Now these are the tribes of which they consist, the Busse, the Paradiseni, the Strushites, the Arizanti, the Budi, and the Magi. The six Median tribes resided in Media proper, the triangular-shaped area between Igbatana, Raji and Espadana. In modern Iran, that is the area between Tehran, Isfahan and Hamadan. Of the Median tribes, the Magi resided in Raga, modern Tehran. It was a type of sacred caste, which ministered to the spiritual needs of the Medes. The Paradiseni tribe resided in and around Espadana, modern Isfahan, the Arizanti lived in and around Kashan and the Busse tribe lived in and around the future Median capital of Igbatana. The Strushites and the Budi lived in villages in the Median Triangle. Etymology. <inaudible> 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 The original source for different words used to call the Median people, their language and homeland is a directly transmitted Old Iranian geographical name which is attested as the Old Persian Mada, Sing, Mask. The meaning of this word is not precisely established. The linguist W. Skolmowski proposes a relation with the Proto-Indo-European word Med H, meaning central, suited in the middle, by referring to Old Indic Madya and Old Iranian Madia both carrying the same meaning and having descendants including Latin medium, Greek meso, and German middle. The Median people are mentioned by that name in many ancient texts. According to the histories of Herodotus, the Medes were called anciently by all people Arians, but when Medea, the Colchian, came to them from Athens, they changed their name. Such is the account which they themselves give. Topic. Historical geography of Media The original population area of the Median people was northwest Iran and named after them as Media. At the end of the second millennium BC the Median tribes emerged in the region one of several Iranian tribes to do so which they later called Media. These tribes expanded their control over larger areas. Subsequently, over a period of several hundred years, the boundaries of Media changed. Topic. Ancient textual sources. An early description of the territory of Media by the Assyrians dates from the end of the 9th century BC until the beginning of the 7th century BC. The southern border of Media, in that period, is named as the Elamite region of Samaski in present-day Loristan province. To the west and northwest it was bounded by the Zagros Mountains and from the east by dasht e kavir This region of Media was ruled by the Assyrians and for them the region extended along the Great Khorasan Road from just east of Harhar to Alwand, and probably beyond. 
It was limited on the north by the non-Iranian state of the Manians, on the south by Alipi. The location of Harhar is suggested to be the central or eastern Mahidisht district in Kermanshah province, on the east and southeast of Media, as described by the Assyrians. Another land with the name of Patusara appears. This land was located near a mountain range which the Assyrians call Bikni and describe as Lapis Lazuli Mountain. There are various opinion on the location of this mountain. Mount Damavand of Tehran and Alvand of Hamadan are two proposed sites. This location is the most remote eastern area that the Assyrians knew of or reached during their expansion until the beginning of the 7th century BC. In the sources from Achaemenid Iran and specifically from the Behistun inscription 2.76.77-78, the capital of Media is named as Hamatana in Old Persian and as Elamite Agmadana, Babylonian Agamtanu, etc. The classical authors transmitted this as Igbatana. This site is modern Hamadan province. Topic. Archaeological evidence Median archaeological sources are rare. The discoveries of Median sites happened only after the 1960s. For 1960 the search for Median archaeological sources has mostly focused in an area known as the Median Triangle, defined roughly as the region bounded by Hamadan, Malayar in Hamdan Province and Kangavar in Kermanshah Province. Three major sites from central western Iran in the Iron Age III period i.e. 850–500 BC are Tepa Nush i Jan a primarily religious site of Median period, the site is located 14 km west of Malayar in Hamadan province. The excavation started in 1967 with D. Stronach as the director. The remains of four main buildings in the site are the Central Temple, the Western Temple, the Fort, and the Columned Hall which according to Stronic were likely to have been built in the order named and predate the latter occupation of the first half of the 6th century BC. According to Stronic, the central temple, with its stark design, provides a notable, if mute, expression of religious belief and practice. A number of ceramics from the median levels at Tepa Nushai Jan have been found which are associated with a period the second half of, the 7th century BC of power consolidation in the Hamadan areas. These findings show four different wares known as common wear buff, cream, or light red in color and with gold or silver mica temper including jars in various size the largest of which is a form of ribbed pithoi. Smaller and more elaborate vessels were in gray ware, these display smoothed and burnished surface. The cooking ware and crumbly ware are also recognized each in single handmade products. Godin Tepa, its period two, a fortified palace of a Median king or tribal chief. The site is located 13 km east of Kangavar city on the left bank of the river Gamas Ab. The excavations, started in 1965, were led by T.C. Young Jr., which, according to David Stronach, evidently shows an important Bronze Age construction that was reoccupied sometime before the beginning of the Iron III period. The excavations of Young indicate the remains of part of a single residence of a local ruler which later became quite substantial. This is similar to those mentioned often in Assyrian sources, Baba Jan, East Azerbaijan probably the seat of a lesser tribal ruler of Media. The site is located in northeastern Luristan with a distance of roughly 10 km from Nurabad in Luristan province. The excavations were conducted by C. Goff in 1966–69. The second level of this site probably dates to the 7th century BC. These sources have both similarities in cultural characteristics and differences due to functional differences and diversity among the Median tribes. The architecture of these archaeological findings, that can probably be dated to the Median period, show a link between the tradition of columned audience halls often seen in Achaemenid, for example in Persepolis, and Safavid Iran, for example in Chehul Soton. From the 17th century AD and the Median architecture, the materials found at Tepa Nushai Jan, Godin Tepa, and other sites located in Media together with the Assyrian reliefs show the existence of urban settlements in Media in the first half of the first millennium BC which had functioned as centers for the production of handicrafts and also of an agricultural and cattle breeding economy of a secondary type. For other historical documentation, the archaeological evidence, though rare, together with cuneiform records by Assyrian make it possible, regardless of Herodotus' accounts, to establish some of the early history of Medians. History 
Topic: <laughs> Rise to power and fall. Iranian tribes were present in western and northwestern Iran from at least the 12th or 11th centuries BC. But the significance of Iranian elements in these regions were established from the beginning of the second half of the 8th century BC. By this time the Iranian tribes were the majority in what later became the territory of the Median Kingdom and also the west of Media proper. A study of textual sources from the region shows that in the Neo-Assyrian period, the regions of Media, and further to the west and the northwest, had a population with Iranian-speaking people as the majority. This period of migration coincided with a power vacuum in the Near East with the Middle Assyrian Empire 1365 BC, which had dominated northwestern Iran and eastern Anatolia and the Caucasus, going into a comparative decline. This allowed new peoples to pass through and settle. In addition Elam, the dominant power in Iran, was suffering a period of severe weakness, as was Babylonia to the west. In western and northwestern Iran and in areas further west prior to Median rule, there is evidence of the earlier political activity of the powerful societies of Elam, Manea, Assyria and Urartu. There are various and updated opinions on the positions and activities of Iranian tribes in these societies and prior to the major Iranian state formations in the late 7th century BC. One opinion of Hersfeld, et al., is that the ruling class were Iranian migrants, but the society was autonomous, while another opinion of Grantowski, et al., holds that both the ruling class and basic elements of the population were Iranian. From the 10th to the late 7th centuries BC, the western parts of Media fell under the domination of the vast Neo Assyrian Empire based in northern Mesopotamia, which stretched from Cyprus to Iran, and from the Caucasus to Egypt and the north of the Arabian Peninsula. Assyrian kings such as Tiglath Pileser III, Sargon II, Sennacherib, Esarhaddon, Ashurbanipal, and Ashur Edel Alani imposed vassal treaties upon the Median rulers, and also protected them from predatory raids by marauding Scythians and Cimmerians. During the reign of Sincherishkin, the Assyrian Empire, which had been in a state of constant civil war since 626 BC, began to unravel. Subject peoples, such as the Medes, Babylonians, Chaldeans, Egyptians, Scythians, Cimmerians, Lydians and Arameans quietly ceased to pay tribute to Assyria. Neo-Assyrian dominance over the Medians came to an end during the reign of Syaxares, who in alliance with Nabopolassar of Babylon and Chaldea and the Scythians and Cimmerians, attacked and destroyed the strife-riven empire between 616 and 609 BC. The newfound alliance helped the Medes to capture Nineveh in 612 BC, which resulted in the eventual collapse of the Neo-Assyrian Empire by 609 BC. The Medes were subsequently able to establish their Median Kingdom with Igbatana as their royal center beyond their original homeland and had eventually a territory stretching roughly from northeastern Iran to the Kazilirmak River in Anatolia. After the fall of Assyria between 616 BC and 609 BC, a unified Median state was formed, which together with Babylonia, Lydia, and ancient Egypt became one of the four major powers of the ancient Near East. The Median Kingdom was eventually conquered in 550 BC by Cyrus the Great, who established the Achaemenid Empire. However, nowadays there is considerable doubt whether a united Median Empire ever existed. There is no archaeological evidence and the story of Herodotus is not supported by sources from the Neo-Assyrian Empire nor the Neo-Babylonian Empire. <inaudible> Median dynasty The list of Median rulers and their period of reign compiled according to two sources. Firstly, Herodotus who calls them «kings» and associates them with the same family. Secondly, the Babylonian chronicle which in Gad's Chronicle on the Fall of Nineveh gives its own list. A combined list stretching over 150 years is thus Deioces 700-647 BC Freortes 647-625 BC Scythian rule 624-597 BC Syaxares 624 to 585 BC Astyages 585 to 549 BC However not all of these dates and personalities given by Herodotus match the other near eastern sources in Herodotus book 1 chapters 95 to 130 Deioces is introduced as the founder of a centralized Median state 
He had been known to the Median people as a just and incorruptible man, and when asked by the Median people to solve their possible disputes he agreed and put forward the condition that they make him king and build a great city at Igbatana as the capital of the Median state. Judging from the contemporary sources of the region and disregarding the account of Herodotus puts the formation of a unified Median state during the reign of Syaxares or later. Culture and society Greek references to «Median» people make no clear distinction between the «Persians» and the «Medians». In fact for a Greek to become «too closely associated with Iranian culture» was «to become Medianized, not Persianized». The Median Kingdom was a short-lived Iranian state and the textual and archaeological sources of that period are rare and little could be known from the Median culture which nevertheless made a «profound, and lasting, contribution to the greater world of Iranian culture». <laughs> Language Median people spoke the Median language, which was an old Iranian language. Strabo's Geographica finished in the early 1st century mentions the affinity of Median with other Iranian languages. The name of Ariana is further extended to a part of Persia and of Media, as also to the Bactrians and Sogdians on the north, for these speak approximately the same language, but with slight variations. No original deciphered text has been proven to have been written in the Median language. It is suggested that similar to the later Iranian practice of keeping archives of written documents in Achaemenid Iran, there was also a maintenance of archives by the Median government in their capital Igbatana. There are examples of Median literature found in later records. One is according to Herodotus that the Median king Deioces, appearing as a judge, made judgment on causes submitted in writing. There is also a report by Dinan on the existence of Median court poets. Median literature is part of the Old Iranian literature, including also Saka, Old Persian, Avestan, as this Iranian affiliation of them is explicit also in ancient texts, such as Herodotus's account that many peoples, including Medes, were universally called Iranian. Words of Median origin appear in various other Iranian dialects, including Old Persian. A feature of Old Persian inscriptions is the large number of words and names from other languages and the Median language takes in this regard a special place for historical reasons. The Median words in Old Persian texts, whose Median origin can be established by phonetic criteria, appear more frequently among royal titles and among terms of the chancellery, military, and judicial affairs. Words of Median origin include asterisk c theta ra origin. The word appears in asterisk c theta rabrazana med, exalting his lineage, asterisk c theta rami theta ra med, having mithraic origin, asterisk c theta raspata med, having a brilliant army, etc. Farna, divine glory, avestan, kavarna, paradesa, paradise, spaka, the word is median and means, dog. Herodotus identifies, spaka. G.K. Spacha, female dog, as Median rather than Persian. The word is still used in modern Iranian languages, including Talishi, also suggested as a source to the Russian word for dog sobaka. Vachka, great, as Western Persian bozerg. Vispa, all, as in Avestan. The component appears in such words as vispafria med, fem, dear to all, vispatarva med, vanquishing all. Vispavada, Median Old Persian, leader of all, etc. Exia theta iya, king. Exa theta ra, realm, kingship. This Median word, attested in asterisk exa theta ra pa and continued by Middle Persian sar, land, country, city, is an example of words whose Greek form, known as Romanized, satrap, from GK. Satrapes satrapes mirrors, as opposed to the tradition, a Median rather than an Old Persian form also attested, as exaka and exakapava of an Old Iranian word. Zura, evil, and zurakara, evil doer. Topic. Religion There are very limited sources concerning the religion of Median people. 
Primary sources pointing to religious affiliations of Medes found so far include the archaeological discoveries in Tepa Nush e Jan, personal names of Median individuals, and the histories of Herodotus. The archaeological source gives the earliest of the temple structures in Iran and the stepped fire altar discovered there is linked to the common Iranian legacy of the cult of fire. Herodotus mentions Median Magi as a Median tribe providing priests for both the Medes and the Persians. They had a priestly caste, which passed their functions from father to son. They played a significant role in the court of the Median king Astyages who had in his court certain Medians as advisors, dream interpreters, and soothsayers. Classical historians, unanimously, regarded the Magi as priests of the Zoroastrian faith. From the personal names of Medes as recorded by Assyrians in 8th and 9th centuries BC there are examples of the use of the Indo-Iranian word Arda lit. Truth, which is familiar from both Avestan and Old Persian, and also examples of theophoric names containing Mazdaku and also the name Ahura Mazda. Scholars disagree whether these are indications of Zoroastrian religion amongst the Medes. Diakonov believes that Astyages and perhaps even Syaxares had already embraced a religion derived from the teachings of Zoroaster, which was not identical with doctrine of Zarathustra, and Mary Boyce believes that. The existence of the Magi in media with their own traditions and forms of worship was an obstacle to Zoroastrian proselytizing there." Boyce wrote that the Zoroastrian traditions in the Median city of Ray probably goes back to the 8th century BC. It is suggested that from the 8th century BC, a form of Mazdaism with common Iranian traditions existed in Media and the strict reforms of Zarathustra began to spread in western Iran during the reign of the last Median kings in the 6th century BC. It has also been suggested that Mithra is a Median name and Medes may have practiced Mithraism and had Mithra as their supreme deity. Topic: <laughs> Fall. In 553 BC, Cyrus the Great, king of Persia, rebelled against his grandfather, the Mede king, Astyages son of Cyaxares. He finally won a decisive victory in 550 BC resulting in Astyages' capture by his own dissatisfied nobles, who promptly turned him over to the triumphant Cyrus. After Cyrus's victory against Astyages, the Medes were subjected to their close kin, the Persians. In the new empire they retained a prominent position, in honor and war, they stood next to the Persians. Their court ceremony was adopted by the new sovereigns, who in the summer months resided in Igbatana, and many noble Medes were employed as officials, satraps and generals. <inaudible> <inaudible> Kurds and Medes Russian historian and linguist Vladimir Minorsky suggested that the Medes, who widely inhabited the land where currently the Kurds form a majority, might have been forefathers of the modern Kurds. He also states that the Medes who invaded the region in the 8th century BC, linguistically resembled the Kurds. This view was accepted by many Kurdish nationalists in the 20th century. However, Martin van Bruinessen, a Dutch scholar, argues against the attempt to take the Medes as ancestors of the Kurds. Though some Kurdish intellectuals claim that their people are descended from the Medes, there is no evidence to permit such a connection across the considerable gap in time between the political dominance of the Medes and the first attestation of the Kurds." Van Bruinessen Contemporary linguistic evidence has challenged the previously suggested view that the Kurds are descendants of the Medes. Gernot Winfer professor of Iranian studies identified the Kurdish languages as Parthian, albeit with a median substratum. David Neil Mackenzie, an authority on the Kurdish language, said Kurdish was closer to Persian and questioned the traditional view holding that Kurdish, because of its differences from Persian, should be regarded a NW Iranian language. Garnik Asatrian stated that the central Iranian dialects, and primarily those of the Kashan area in the first place, as well as the Azari dialects otherwise called Southern Tati are probably the only Iranian dialects, which can pretend to be the direct offshoots of Median. In general, the relationship between Kurdish and Median are not closer than the affinities between the latter and other northwestern dialects. Baluchi, Talishi, South Caspian, Zaza, Garani, etc. Topic. See also. Greater Iran. 
Iranian Plateau Linear Elamite, a script possibly used to write Median language List of monarchs of Persia List of rulers of the pre-Achaemenid kingdoms of Iran Madai Khanat, water management system Notes References Sources Further reading Mead. Encyclopædia Britannica, 2008. Encyclopædia Britannica Online, 16 January 2008. Dandamayev, M. Medvedskaya, I. 2006. Media. Encyclopædia Iranica Online Edition. Gershevich, Ilya. 1985. The Cambridge History of Iran. 2. Cambridge, England: Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0 521 20091 1. Dandamayev, M. A. Lukonin, V. G. Cole, Philip L. Dadson, D. J. 2004. The Culture and Social Institutions of Ancient Iran. Cambridge, England: Cambridge University Press. P. 480. ISBN 978-0-521-61191-6. Young, T. Kyler Jr. 1988. The Early History of the Medes and the Persians and the Achaemenid Empire to the Death of Cambyses. In Boardman, John, Hammond, N. G. L., Lewis, D. M., Ostwald, M., Persia, Greece and the Western Mediterranean C. 525–479 BC Cambridge Histories Online ed., Cambridge University Press, pp. 1–52, doi, 10.1017, chol 9780521228046.002 External links Median Empire at Iran Chamber Society website